Welcome back, you are watching Mario Miles and in this video I want to give you a quick summary and overview of render cache and how that affects storage on your computer using DaVinci Resolve. So render cache in DaVinci Resolve allows you to have smoother playback in the timeline if you're applying lots of fusion effects to your clips. For example, if you are applying V-time curves, such as speeding up and slowing down your videos, if you're applying slow motion effects, if you're applying color correction, things that you're most likely going to be doing if you are getting to that sort of intermediate or advanced editing level. With DaVinci Resolve, you're always going to want to be using render cache, especially if you're using high resolution videos. For example, in this calendar house rough edit that I have for a video that's coming out soon, I have, as you can see, a lot of retime curves and sped up clips because quite often I will film the footage using the DJI Mavic Air quite slowly to capture a lot of detail and reduce the motion blur, but then I play it back for you a lot faster to try and keep your attention and keep it interesting for you. So what you can see if you have render cache turned on in DaVinci Resolve and you do that, by clicking on the playback at the top, go to render cache, and I recommend using smart. This allows DaVinci Resolve to choose for you what clips should be pre-rendered using the render cache function and what clips shouldn't. You'll be able to tell if your clip has been rendered using render cache if it has a blue line at the top of the timeline above it. If, for example, I was to change the retime curve of this clip by pressing Control and R and extending it out a bit, what you'll see is that above the top of there, the curve will turn red, and that means that DaVinci Resolve is now re-rendering the render cache for that clip because it has changed. When that render is complete, it will turn blue. I will then be able to smoothly move back and forth along the timeline over that clip and see how it looks. So that's all very well and good, but where is the render cache stored? Because it has to take up space somewhere. Well, you define that in DaVinci Resolve by clicking on DaVinci Resolve at the top left and going to Preferences. Under System and Media Storage, you'll see a list of media storage locations you've given DaVinci Resolve access to, and the top one will be where your render cache is stored. For me, in this example, my media and render cache is stored in the E Drive DaVinci Resolve folder. My E drive is a one terabyte SSD and it's also the location where I store all the raw uncut footage for my YouTube videos and it stays there until the video is uploaded and rendered to YouTube and then I offload it to a server which has you know larger cheaper storage for archive. So this is the location where your cache is going to be stored and the primary reason I'm making this video is because recently I ran into a problem where I was trying to copy across video from my DJI Mavic Air into my E drive and I got a warning telling me that I'd run out of space. Now, when I went to look in my render cache folder, it turns out that I had over 400 gigabytes of render cache sitting in there from previous videos I had made and also videos I was working on. To save time and save me going through each folder under the cache to decide which videos I wanted to blow away because they were done and uploaded to YouTube, I decided just to blow away the whole folder. Now, for me, that's not a problem. I've got a very powerful computer. So the next time I reopen my DaVinci Resolve project, all of the cuts and edits will be the same as they were before, but I will have to let it re-render the render cache because I've blown it away. But if you are running into this problem where you're trying to copy footage onto your storage drive, but you're running out of space, it's quite likely if you've put your render cache in the same drive, that the render cache is the problem and not having too much footage from your drone or camera. So I recommend go in, blow that away, and you will have plenty space. And as I said, don't worry, next time you reopen DaVinci Resolve and reopen that project you've been working on, you just have to give it a few minutes to re-render the cache for that video. I hope you found this useful. I hope this helps you understand that you probably have more space on your storage drive than you think you did. Just get rid of the render cache when you're done with it. If this helps you, consider giving it a subscribe, a like, and comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.